and these 24 ribs, they contain three tubes um, that are cross braced. And these ribs are actually holding up the fabric, which is then um, suspended from each of these ribs. Obviously, they come to a perimeter ring beam, which is laid out on the ground of Millennium Park, just elevated slightly in order to then um, take care of the inclination that is on the side, so to have a certain tolerance. Um, and that's this kind of ring beam, which you see on the bottom, which is the, the thick tubes um, that are structural, they actually close that structure on the bottom and the skin will be also suspended to that uh, ring beam. Mm -hmm. um, there is again another primary structure which is an elliptic kind of ring beam that you see here up in the front which is the cross brace beam and that supports the diagonal ribs, the curvilinear ribs, at a higher point. So they are supported basically by two ring beams, one on the bottom on the ground and one on the top. In between we try to keep the structure as light and open as possible because we have large louvers and we have openings to let the light in and out. Um, these kind of ovals are actually generating the exterior shell. So they are actually the sh they are sections cut through the shell, and therefore they constitute the actual um, the actual volume how the visitor will see it. So they form a perimeter then, based a visual per perimeter. They are the visual perimeter. Okay. They are exactly they are the contour of the of the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah.